Good morning. I'm uh, the CEO of MemSQL, and today I'm going to talk about what happens if you teach databases to learn in the world of AI. But before we talk about databases, let's talk about applications. And today we're pushing the limits to make applications more human. They're visual. They're intelligent and adaptable. And early in my career, I worked on the backend infrastructure for one of the most popular data, uh, applications in the world. And I know firsthand how, the, how much complexity that infrastructure entails. The typical pillars of that infrastructure are the data lake, data science infrastructure, and uh, the database. So let me tell you what happens if you start teaching databases to learn and you build a simple, real-time, and scalable, and adaptable database. So why simple? Well, in fact, only simple things scale. And once you have a simple, reliable, transactional database, it lets you consolidate a lot of tiers in your infrastructure, close operational gaps. If you can start processing your data in real time, you can start doing things like score machine learning models on ingest. You can run live queries uh, on fresh data. And it, because the system is scalable, it also gives you extreme performance. And finally, adaptable. Not only it can run transactions and analytics, it can start exhibiting learned behavior and make decisions on your behalf. So last Strata in San Jose, we already talked what we can do with scoring TensorFlow models in real time and how we can find missing children by collaborating with a nonprofit called Thorn. Since six months later, um, our customers built incredible applications. So let's pause for a second. Here, we're taking a picture of you know, a camera or a sunglasses and a simple query that's hitting the database in real time and powering an application can, in a matter of milliseconds, identify that object and find it in the database. So databases are cool, but they're only as cool as they fit into your infrastructure. And in MemSQL, we want to integrate with pretty much everything. Now, for this audience, what matters is integrations with Hadoop, Spark, and Kafka. So a lot of our customers use MemSQL alongside with Hadoop, where you can have a reference data store uh, in HDFS and very efficiently move data into MemSQL to start powering your applications. You can also use it with Spark and consume data using Spark streaming and in parallel with extremely high throughput, push it into MemSQL again to power your applications. If you want to learn more about it, there's a session coming up that's called Exploring Real-Time Capabilities with Spark SQL. And finally, which is very exciting for us, is integrations with Kafka. So now you can directly stream data from Kafka into MemSQL at gigabytes per second, and then get this data available to you immediately uh, to power your applications. If you want to learn more about uh, streaming from Kafka, there's another session coming up in this conference that's called Building Real-Time Feedback Loop for Education. And the one thought I want to leave you with is we know that AI is going to be everywhere. And we're starting to get used to AI in applications. But in fact, it's also going to do really, really good stuff in systems and infrastructure. And what it means for databases that AI we'll start making decisions on your behalf on data distribution, what indexes to use, what knobs to turn, and give you a very simple to use, automatically tunable database. Uh, and that is the future that we're moving towards, and I can't be more excited to see AI in databases. Thank you so much.